YouTube, what's up? It's Solution for the Solution for Kicks. Back with another much anticipated, highly motivated, and yeah, it's late again. No, I'm just playing. Um, we were to talk about the overflaxification of Nike and how did it happen. Let's just set these off to the side and talk about the genesis. I had always started. The Timberland. You cannot tell me, Nike, you did not copy the, the major buzz that this Timberland six inch construct boot had for over 20 years in hip hop culture. You can't. But here's what happened with Timberland. Just like anything in hip hop and urban culture, it gets appropriated, you know, and that's just how it is. Um, so they figured out, hmm, what can we do to ensure the shoe remains popular? So what happened was inadvertently was Drake wore these in a video of Rihanna. You can look it up. He's in an all black and he has these on. So the boots just pop, they stand out. Somehow the wheat uh, boot, the wheat look boot became um, universal. It's like a gray or black now. You can wear this with anything, it's acceptable. And um, hip hop coaches dictated that. So Timberlands went from 129 to 189 to upwards to 239 in some places because of that moment. And I'm talking about that was roughly three and a half, almost four years ago. Yeah, shout out to Drake for running these up. So what happened? We sit those off to the side. Nike rolled out the Flax Air Force One. The Flax Air Force One. This was a really popular sneaker back in, I want to say 2014, 2015, when they first released. And I wasn't paying attention to them. I completely slid bomb because of the part of the country I lived at the time, these did it for me, all right? And you saw videos about, um, you know, there, there are a lot of younger people who don't understand the history of the Timberland. Matter of fact, let me borrow this for a second. I should have bought the Timberland box out here. Set that up there, all right, and let the Griffey Max one. You have to know the history of the Timberland. And they were calling this a boot. This is not a boot. This is not a boot, people. It's not insulated. There's no Gore-Tex. There's no waterproof and anything like that. And what really triggered it was the color in correlation to the temple. And it worked, Nike. It's genius. It really is genius. But this is not a boot, people. Even down to the soul, people want to believe that this is a boot. It, trust me, your feet are going to freeze. All right? This is a sneaker with boot s laces these are laces that you normally put on a boot so they work in that dimension look at that look at it look at it all right so uh yeah people yeah the the, the timberland nike well air force ones the uh the timberland air force one what that that collaboration probably will never happen all right probably all right not saying yeah probably will never which is an oxymoron it probably won't happen all right but yeah, it, this is, you get it, all right? It's not a boot, y'all. So let's get into the uh, oversaturation of this concept. So right here is the only sneaker I have in, besides the um, Air Force One, obviously, that's not in the flax colorway. And I'm a, a Griffey Max One because it's a sneaker OG sneaker. This is an OG sneaker, all right? You, you gotta be from this era to really appreciate the Griffey Max 1, all right, and not the later releases. This is the one that did it. Um, Very timeless sneaker, in my opinion, and it do some flax on here, and this is some, you know, Nike doesn't do a great job with suede, you know, traditionally, but this is okay, all right? And these were going at, uh, 150 when it came out and I got these during the spring and I, these are straight dead stock too people I've never worn these I keep saying I'm gonna wear them I ought to wear them today because this is a universal color it has been a universal color for over 20 years um this this weak flax look you can wear it with anything believe it or not it's acceptable all right hip-hop culture said hey this is like black and white now or even gray you can wear this with anything but I got these for um I want to say 59 I think I can't remember between $59 and $50 or something at uh, Champs. Was it Champs? Might have been Champs. I got the bag in here. No. Always keep the bag. Foot action. I should have known. I'm a foot action guy. 
All right, shout out to Foot Action. All oh, my people's there. I'm a Foot Action guy. Most of the time I get my my dope dope sneakers from Foot Action and House of Hoops, Foot Locker House of Hoops. Well, I got these because I like this colorway. It's a good alternative. So if it's not cold outside, anything like that, and it's in the fall, because this is a fall release shoe. They release this every fall. And I don't want to put my Tims on because it might not be that warm. Like today, I think it's supposed to get to 75, which is, is great Timberland weather on the East Coast. You know, 90 degrees is Timberland weather. We had Timberland with shorts. That's just how we are. You, you have to live it and understand. Don't laugh about it. this ignorance. It's, it's called culture, people. Um, this is what we do back then. I live in San Antonio now, and I've actually worn Tims in Africa, believe it or not. I made Tim's acceptable where I was at in Africa. The dudes were rocking because of me. Because they saw the DJ wearing Tim's. See how that works? Dudes started rocking Tim's because of me. And it was 100 plus degrees with shorts. You know? and that, that's another story in itself. But I wanted an alternative so I wouldn't dog these out. Okay? And actually, I'll take that back. I got these. I didn't want to... Well, I can't dog my Tim's because I have three pairs of these. On, in, on a scale of one to ten, all of them are eight or better, right? With these being my probably most mint pair. This is what I wear when I go out, you know, take some, you know, young lady out with me. You won't get too fly, but you won't look cool about it. These are the Tims I put right there. And I, put, I put those on, all right? Because they are just crispy, all right? But if I don't want to do that and I want to look a little bit more dressed down casual, I break out these. And eventually I'm going to wear these. But Nike, you're putting flax on everything. There's a Flax Air Max one. Well, Flax, yeah, Flax Air Max one. There's um, a Jordan one Flax. There's a Jordan six Flax, if I'm not mistaken. And there's another one. There's another Jordan. And I'm just gonna have to put some pictures. All right, but it got to the point where I just stopped looking. I was like, for real? And of course you got those Westbrooks in Flax as well. You're doing too much, Nike. I, I really think you should have just stuck with the Jordan one. Let let the Jordan one live. You you rely on the sneakers so much, but you disrespect it at the same time. All right? Because of the younger element of the culture. Just let this sneaker do what it does. It's going to sell regardless. All right? As long as you have people my age demographic and people from uh Richmond and on up to New York and Boston even, the Air Force One is not going anywhere. All right, as long as you don't start doing crazy stuff to it, the SF super high with the laces wrapped around it, stop that silliness, okay? Stop it, all right? And just do stuff like this. Keep it fresh, keep it clean. We like that. But then you start slapping it on the sneakers. And I get this one a pass because this is, you know, was released around the heyday of the um, Air the Air Force One. And it's the, the Griffey Max, all right? This is an iconic OG, sneaker OG, well, you got to be a sneaker OG to really know about this shoe right here and the essence of it. Um, but you should have limited that, this colorway to a very, to a certain number of shoes. If not, just leave it with the Air Force One. All right. And that's enough of that. You know, the old flaxification of Nike. This is why brands are jumping in. I hate to say that. The, the wave. This is why brands are surpassing you sometimes, Nike gotta stop the killing your uniqueness okay don't water down your brain and i'm out of here